Welcome to a video taking a look at finding the or estimating the mean and the median from a grouped frequency table. So here we have a question. The numbers of questions answered correctly by children taking a general knowledge test are shown in the following frequency distribution. So here's our information. What we're asked to do is to estimate the mean number of correct answers and the median number of correct answers. So I've just drawn another couple of tables to help us. Um, the first one is the midpoint and this is going to help us to find the m or, or to estimate the mean number of correct answers. So first off um, I'm just going to need to calculate what the midpoint is in order to find the mean. So to find the midpoint to find the midpoint I'm just going to take each of the values in my class interval, add them together and then divide them by two and that's going to give me my midpoint. So 0 plus 5 divided by 2, my first midpoint is going to be 2.5. So the midpoint of 0 to 5 is 2.5. <coughs> Let's do the same with the rest. I'm not going to write out the workings because it's quite easy to do in your head. 6 plus 10 give me 16 divided by 2 gives me a midpoint of 8. 11 plus 15 that's going to give me 26. Uh, divide that by 2 and that's going to give me a midpoint of 13. Then next one I've got 16 plus 20, half of that, that's going to give me 18. Next one, 21 plus 60, that's going to give me 81 and that's going to give me a midpoint of 40.5. And then lastly 61 plus 70 is going to give me 131, um, so half of that is going to be 65.5. So I've found my midpoints. Now in order to find the mean, all I'm going to have to do is multiply the midpoint by the frequency. So first off I'm going to do 4 multiplied by 2.5 then add 15 multiplied by 8 <coughs> and so on. So plus uh, 5 times 13 plus um, 2 times 18 next one I don't really have to write out 0 times 40.5 that doesn't give us anything and so I'm just going to skip that one 1 times 65.5 so I'm going to add all of those together and then divide by the total frequency so the total frequency is 4 plus 15, 19, uh, 24, 26, 27. So divided by 27. Then I'm just simply going to plug that into a calculator. Um, so I'm not going to plug this in exactly because I think I can work out what the um, multiplication sums are for all of those. So 4 times 2.5, that's 10, plus 15 multiplied by 8, that's 120 plus uh, 5 times 13 which is going to give me 65 plus 2 times 18 36 plus uh, 1 times 65.5 so plus 65.5 so that gives me 296.5 then I just need to divide that by 27 and that is going to give me a mean of 10.98 so my estimated mean for the Question A is going to give me 10.98. So question B, um, we're now going to estimate the median number of correct answers. So to do this we're going to use interpolation whereby we estimate the median. So the first thing that we need to do is to figure out what is going to be our median position. So our median position just comes from simply um, adding up the total number of people which is 27 and we want the halfway point here so we're just going to half it divided by 2 and that gives us the 13.5th position so this is our median position 13.5 now what we're going to do to find the median is simply use the idea of proportion to give us an idea of of what an est a decent estimate for the median would be. 
Now I'm just going to quickly fill in the cumulative frequency table that I've left here because this is going to help us with this. So what we've got, we've got um, four people who are between 0 and 5. Then next up we've got 19 people. So what we're saying with these 19 people is that 19 people were between uh, 10 or lower. Next up will be, um, so add it on again, it's going to give us 24. So what we're saying here is 24 people are 50, who got 15 right or lower. The next one we're going to have 26 people. So 26 people were uh, scored 20 or lower. And then lastly, that stays at 26 and then 27 people got a score of 70 or below, which is all, which is everyone there. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out where does our median position lie. Our median position lies in between um, or lies in this category here in between 6 and 10. So it's this one here um, that it's going to be in. Now at GCSE all that you're asked to do to, is to say what class interval the median uh, would be in. What we need to be able to do for AS level is we need to be able to say um, to give an estimate of the value and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use something I drew up before just to save a little bit of time and this is simply just a number line. At this end I've got 5.5. Now that is the class boundary of the interval that I've um, that the median is going to lie in. So the median lies in between 6 and 10. The lowest value that we could have that would fit into 6 to 10 would be 5.5. The highest value that um, um, a, a num the highest value that could be taken and still fit into um, 6 to 10 would be 10.5. So that's this is simply just a number line. And what I've done is I've just broken this up. What we know is that because this is our lower class boundary, that f this represents, or what we could say is this, this represents the fourth highest score. And then at the other end of the class boundary we could say that this score of 10.5 represents the 19th highest score. So just taking uh, information from the community frequency there. Now what we want to do is we want to figure out what the median score was or what um, the middle score was. And that is going to be at 13.5. So that's going to be the person who scored the 13.5th highest score. So that's going to be around here. Now what we can see is that in this category there were 15 people um, and let's just use a different colour so you can see clearly there were 15 people who came in this category between 5.5 um, and 10.5 so what we could say is if we just use the idea of proportion and break this down into 15 smaller parts that each of these um, are, are going to be the same amount more each time, if that kind of makes sense. Um, so I've just tried to expand on that. So what I mean here is that between these points were five marks. Now five marks are separating 15 people. So we're going to take that each person scored uh, f so five fifteenths more each time. So we could say that the fifth person scored five fifteenths or one third more marks than the fourth person. The sixth person would be, um, and I'm just going to just going to um, simplify that. So we could say that the fifth person scored one third more marks than the fourth person. So that means the sixth person would have scored two thirds more mark than the fourth person. The seventh person would have scored a whole mark more than the fourth person and so on. So what we could say is that each person each person who scored higher scored one third more mark and we're just assuming this is not necessarily correct but we're just using this idea to give us an estimate for our median. So what we then need to do is we need to say well okay we want the 13.5th person so that's going to give us we need to take 9.5 because we are 9.5 positions away from the fourth person here and multiply it by 
the gap in between each one, which is one third. So 9.5 multiplied by one third, that's going to give us, so 9.5 multiplied by um, one third, so that's going to give us 3.16 recurring, or 3 and 1 sixth. Now, what I could then do is say, okay, well, that means that the 13.5th person scored 3.1666666 recurring more marks than the fourth person. The fourth person got 5.5, so if I just add this to what that lower person got, so plus 5.5, that's going to give us a median of 8 um, and 2 thirds. So our estimate for the median here is going to be 8 and 2 thirds. Okay, so median, 8 and 2 thirds. And I'll just put 8.6 recurring. Part C says state whether the median or the mean is a better representation of the correct answers. This is fairly simple. If we have any extreme values, which we do here, we have an extreme value and what we call an outlier, um, our median is a better um, measure simply because the median does not um, take into account those extreme values whereas the mean does and, and because it takes into account because the mean takes into account those extreme values um, the mean can be slightly skewed by those extreme values so a reason um, is simply so our answer is the median and the reason is um, what we've just talked about